I'm Dr. Ramsey Amin. I'm going to speak with you today on the first of a nine-part series on specifics of dental implant replacement for each location. Today I'll talk about the central incisors. Those are the two front teeth, these ones right here, right in the dead center, that are really the most important teeth in the mouth from a cosmetic standpoint because they do dominate the smile. From a dental implant standpoint, they can be some of the most difficult teeth to replace because they need to mirror each other. Although they dominate the smile, their symmetry is of critical importance. In the anatomy of the area, from a bone standpoint, bone is generally very good in the area. Bone is moderately dense. The healing period for having an implant in the front of the mouth is actually pretty fast. The root of the upper front tooth has only one root as does a dental implant same same shape so an implant for a central upper front tooth can be done at the same time of extraction is quite a common procedure called an immediate implant sometimes the procedure has to be staged or delayed but the most important thing for replacement of an upper front tooth is the cosmetics is the way the gums form around the tooth, how even the gum lines are between uh, the teeth on either side, especially between the two central incisors. Those teeth are also numbered, teeth number eight and nine. Also from an anatomic standpoint, there is a nerve right in between your two upper front teeth on the palate side or on the tongue side. It's called the nasal palatine foramen. Inside of that, there is a nerve, an artery, and a, a vein that, that helps give sensation to areas nearby. It can only be a problem if your foramen or this nerve is large and can pose a problem if the implant is too large or if you just anatomically have a very large uh, nerve chamber in there. But generally it's not much of a problem. It can be removed and bone grafted. From a standpoint of temporaries on dental implants in the front teeth, like I said, they can be done in an immediate fashion. That means that the same day the tooth is extracted, an implant can be placed, and oftentimes a temporary can be placed that doesn't function, meaning it doesn't chew against your lower front teeth. Or other options are what's called a flipper or a stay plate. That's something that's removable that you would have to take in and out. And sometimes we absolutely have to use those if, we're have to, if we have to rebuild a lot of bone in the area. Because these teeth are sometimes replaced from traumatic injury, sometimes there's a lot of bone missing that needs to be rebuilt. Um, oftentimes, or sometimes I should say, an onlay block bone graft is required where a piece of bone from your chin or from where your wisdom teeth used to be is actually placed in that area to build out the bone. But that's usually reserved for the most severe of cases. But the upper front tooth, the central incisor, is a very successful area for replacement of teeth uh, with dental implants. My own success rate is near 99% in this area for doing this for the last 11 years. Uh, please visit the blog. Look under on the right column. You can see an area called example cases. You should be able to find uh, several, 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 many uh, examples of uh, implants for upper front teeth. Again, this is Dr. Ramsey Amin speaking on upper front teeth, center, uh, central incisors. Uh, this is the first of a nine-part series on specifics of dental implants for each location of the mouth. We'll cover all the areas. Next will be the lateral incisors, then the canines by cuspid molars. All these dental names you'll become, you'll get to learn very shortly. Thanks so much for your time.